Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Last week, I did a video post about combustion air ducts, why houses need them and what they do. This week, I'm gonna be talking about some of the most common problems we find as home inspectors and all of the simple solutions that just about any homeowner should be qualified to take care of. So as I mentioned in last week's video, a combustion air duct is this big insulated tube that drops down next to your HVAC equipment, typically next to the furnace or boiler, whatever the biggest fuel utilization equipment you have in your home is. It's gonna drop down onto the floor right next to that equipment. And in the dead of winter, you will have cold air just kind of dump it into your house. Even when you're not running your exhaust appliances or your fuel burning appliances, you're still gonna have air that just wants to come in because through the natural stack effect in a house, air tends to wanna to enter at the bottom and as it heats up, as it gets warmer, warm air rises, it wants to go up and then it'll leak out through tiny little openings at the upper portion of the house. So air at the lower portion of the house tends to want to come in, air at the top wants to leave, so air is always wanting to come in through this combustion air duct. So people will notice there's cold air coming in and so that leads us to one of the most common problems we find with combustion air ducts is intentional blockage. This is where homeowners don't like that cold air coming in and they fix it. And there's two ways people fix it. Number one is they take towels or clothing or whatever and they stuff it into that duct and they fix this cold air leak by <laughs> <laughs> fixing their combustion air duct. They, they disable it. This is ignorant blockage. Uh, well, it's intentional ignorant blockage. This should never happen. Never do this. That, that duct is there for a reason. I would call this a safety issue. That air is needed for your combustion appliances. So if you ever find that, take the clothes out. Uh, another way people might do it is to just block it at the exterior. We've seen it duct taped over. We've seen people put plastic over the intake at the exterior. It is there for a reason. Don't ever block this. So that's one thing we find as home inspectors. Another is ignorant blockage. And wait, ignorant unintentional blockage. That's what I meant to say. Ignorant unintentional blockage. This happens, typically the, the only reason this happens is when you have a siding contractor come through, they replace all the siding, and then after they've taken everything off, they forgot what this hole in the side of the house was, so they put a damper on the outside. Now, dampers are meant to help prevent air coming in. They only allow air out. It's kind of a one-way valve. And when you do that on your combustion air intake, you almost might as well stuff it full of clothing or duct tape it shut. It's now going to be useless. We've found many a damper at the outside of newly sided houses. That always needs to be fixed. And the, the intake on the outside just needs to have a grill with a screen on there. And the, I, I'm in Minnesota. The Minnesota code says that you're not supposed to have a screen that's finer than one quarter inch mesh. And I'm sure that that's how the national codes read too. So if we find something smaller, that would also restrict airflow. I mean, one of the more common things we find will be insect screen. If we find that on there, it's going to get dirty very quickly. That should always be removed. And that brings us to dirty intakes. These things do get dirty. I, it should be cleaned annually. This is just an annual maintenance thing. As a homeowner, you need to check your combustion air intake. And if you have an air exchanger or an HRV, an ERV, one of these things that brings fresh air in and exhausts, stale air out of your home, you need to clean that intake annually as well. Now at my house, I have both the combustion air intake and the HRV intake right next to each other. You can hardly tell the difference between the two. When they're dirty, the solution is the same. You get your wet dry vac, you took a bristle nozzle on the end of it, and you stick it up in there and you wave it all around and you suck all that dust and dirt out of your combustion air intake. Super simple solution. This is all it takes not a big deal to fix it. Sometimes we'll find these ducts partially obstructed because people want to cut down on the amount of air coming into the house. And you know, I, I don't know how effective this actually is. I've never done any testing, but a lot of people will make kind of a trap 
for the cold air that's just falling down into the basement. So instead of having the duct just wide open as it comes down, they'll make a little J with their duct at the bottom so the cold air needs to actually rise up before it comes into the room. I, like I said, I don't know if it helps or not. I have that done at my house. I've had it at every house I've ever lived in. Most people like to do this. Uh, sometimes people will put a little bucket at the bottom of that. They'll put like a five gallon bucket and that will work as long as you're not obstructing the total opening. If you have a fairly small duct, and you know, you'll, you have to do a little bit of math here. You know, if, if you take the old formula pi r squared and you figure out the opening of your hole and then you figure out the opening of your bucket and you make sure that you're not obstructing any of that, well, then that would work. But if you've got a huge duct and you've got it going into a relatively small bucket, you will certainly restrict the opening. The easy fix, remove the bucket. Maybe make a J with it at the bottom. And then the final common problem we find with these is having them installed too close to the ground. Now this is not a quick and simple homeowner 30 second fix. This is where they get installed very close to the ground and you know the, the current Minnesota code says that they need to be installed at least a foot above the ground. I'm sure that's what the national code says too. Now, or in a perfect world, they would be installed a foot above the average snow level. So snow is not gonna block these things. And we've seen it happen many times. Snow will block these things. So that's part of the reason you want it above the ground. Another reason is that the closer it is to the ground, the faster it's going to get dirty. If you're in the unfortunate situation of having one very close to the ground, you need to be more diligent about making sure that it stays clean. You know, you're probably gonna to wanna to clean it a couple of times a year. When it snows, you're gonna to wanna to check on it and make sure it doesn't get obstructed. If you've got a huge overhang at your house, well then it probably doesn't matter. You're probably covered well enough and snow's not gonna get in there, but pay attention to it, check on it. If you want a more permanent solution, you could have what, what we have dubbed a snorkel. Now, this is not the official term. There is no official term for this, but we, we think snorkel is a good term for it. And it's where you take the duct, you bring it out, you bring it up, and then point it back down again. Or, or maybe a periscope. There, there's a good, good term for it. I just came up with that just now as I was talking. But the idea is you're raising the intake. The unfortunate part of these snorkels or periscopes is that you can't buy them. We've seen them at many houses and I have gone back to the HVAC installers who put them in and said, where'd you get these things? And they said, we custom fabricate them in our own shop. <laughs> you can't buy them. So you could hire, you could hire a, a tin knocker to make one for you, but you, you can't just buy them online, unfortunately. So that concludes my list of the most common combustion air intake problems and for the most part, a bunch of very simple solutions that any homeowner can take on. Again, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.